really fun to get to be here tonight. One of the things I love about working at Apple is that from the top down, we're challenged to innovate. And sometimes that means stepping back and reinventing from the ground up, like we've done here. I'm really excited to get to show this to you. Let's take a look. So I will say that this is a beta version of the software. We hope it behaves, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start out with a sequence here that was edited together with Final Cut Pro. And we'll play it back, and then I'll show you, use that to show you some of the application. Let's take a look. I've never given a race time before. Uh, I never, never actually thought of it. Alright, definitely use my other classes card over here. It's definitely a time flash. The first time you press on the gas pedal, it's uh, it's quite an experience. It's, it's a bit of a jolt. Actually taking those corners and taking those seats, it was surprising how much you push yourself back into the seat. It almost feels like the car just wants to go. As soon as you, you know, turn the engine on, it just kind of roars right behind you, and the engine is directly behind you. Propelled forward by this powerful machine. You can hear the impact off the walls and off the different you know, surfaces that you're taking around. Carrying to a corner, and I realized that I was just instinctively braced with my left leg and my arms were pushing me into the seat. Aside from probably flying a plane as much as the fastest I've ever you know, been to a it still feels kind of like a dream. Like, like you know, the hell did that really happen? Was I really driving that fast around the racetrack in an audio? You do get that adrenaline rush where you want to just go again. Going. Um, so it's fun, I can see how you want to keep doing this. I think I'm going to probably have to get one sooner than I was talking about. So there's quite a footage of the uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to a prior edit of this sequence and use that for the demonstration. So we'll start out up in the organization. Section. So we have our list view up here, and up here in the list view, I've got a bunch of clips listed. I've got lots of metadata up here. I can, you know, all sorts of different metadata I can choose to show. I've also got this nice film strip up at the top where I can do skimming. With skimming, all I do is wave the cursor across the frames, and the video plays in the viewer, so I can see exactly what's in the clip. What gives you a really nice film strip gives you a really nice look at your content without having to actually even. Uh, do that. You can actually see it from the film strip. At any place you want, you just wave the cursor over and you can see exactly what it is. It's really uh, nice. Now over on the left, we have a bunch of smart collections. We have some of the ones that Pete was talking about that were bottle analyzed. For example, we have a bunch of uh, shots here that all have one person in them that's automatically been detected. We have things like close-up that have automatically been detected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back up to the top here and we'll choose this clip. Uh, here. Let's see, grab the clip. Just push this card going by. And what I'm going to do is do a little bit of keywording. So when I come in here, we've got a shot, this set, piece of the shot. I can select this and I can put a keyword on it. I'm bringing up the keyword panel and I'll type in splash. And now that keyword has been added to that portion of the clip. You see from this blue bar up here that that's been added to that portion of that clip. I come back here to the beginning. Select another range here where the car is skidding, and I can put in uh, a skid key. Whoops. Put in a skid keyword, and now I've got that keyword on that portion of the clip. And over here in the left hand column, you'll notice that I've got a skid and splash smart collection that have automatically been added. If I open up this clip, you can see that I can select, and I can select those two ranges of that clip. This is really powerful. A lot of times you have really long clips, a 20 minute clip. You might have a few 10 second segments in the middle that are interesting. Instead of having to keyword the whole thing with splash and skid and then have to go back and find the pieces you want, you can tag just the sections that you're interested in. There's also a favorite mechanism that you can put a favorite 
about it. It's really powerful. It's amazing when you have a lot of content and you're trying to find things. You can do this, and the keywords can overlap. So you can have do the same section of media can have this, multiple keywords on it. So it's really powerful for being able to organize your footage. Now, the list view is one way to look at this, but I also have a film strip view. And the film strip view, we get film strips of all your content with skimming. You get to control the time frame. We're currently set to one thumbnail for each 10 seconds of video. And you'll notice, as I scroll down here, without even having to move the cursor around, I can tell what's in each of these clips. I'm sure everybody here has had a situation where you're trying to find some content, and you double-click on something, you open it up, you scrub back and forth, not that, close it, double-click on something, scrub back and forth. And it's an incredibly time-consuming process. Here, I can just scroll down and I can see, okay, I've got the car coming up the hill, I've got the car sitting along here. You know, you've got all of these uh, clips that are really, really easy to identify. And I can make selections in here, I can put keywords on, I can also just drag a selection over to one of these keyword collections, skid, that automatically puts the skid keyword on that portion of the clip. So now, if I come up and select skid, I'm now looking at those two segments of those two clips that have that skid keyword on it. It's that easy to get back to the content that you want to. So it's a really a huge improvement in the organization process in Final Cut Pro 10. So, 